Marquela Esquelena by Evelyn Molina. What is Marquela Esquelena and what are the common names? Marquela Esquelena is a type of fungus that it was originally named Phallus Esquelentus by Carl Linnaeus in 1953 and changed it to the current name by a Swedish mycologist Elias Magnus Fries in 1801. Morchella esquelena is commonly known by various names. Some of these names are common marrow, yellow marrow, true marrow, marrow mushroom, and sponge marrow. The specific epithet comes from the Latin esquelena, meaning edible. The generic name Morchella is said to come from Marco, which is an old German word that means mushroom. While the specific epithet Esquelena is a Latin and simply means edible. The taxonomy hierarchy or scientific classification that this type of mushroom belongs to is Kingdom Fungi. Phylum or division is Ascomicota. The subphylum or subdivision is Pesisomycotina. The class is Pesisomycetes. Order. Pesisalis, genus Morchella, species and Esquelana, and its binomial name is Morchella Esquelana. Now that we know the taxonomy hierarchy or scientific classification, let's learn some description of what these categories means. Let's start with the domain, Eukarya which contains a membrane-bound organelles and a nucleus with DNA. The kingdom, as we mentioned before, is fungi, and it is a non-vascular organism and reproduces via spores. The phylum is Ascomicata, and it is a sac fungi with an ascus. The class is Pesisomycetes, and it is an apothecial fungi, which means that it produces and releases spores. The order is Pesisalis and it has an acid. The family is Morchellaceae, and it has an Oscar cup with a sponge like a pileus and a white hollow type and phyllis. Genus Morchella it is a true marrow and it is edible. Mushrooms are classified as fungi, not as a plant. We already know that. But we don't know the primary reasons why this classification is fungi. Well, some of those classifications include photosynthesis, reproduction, body structure, and life requirements. Photosynthesis. Plants need photosynthesis to survive. In fact, are green because of the chlorophyll found in the seals. Mushrooms, on the other hand, do not require sunlight to survive. In fact, any type of mushroom, through in dark and damp environments, will survive. Plants use sexual reproduction to form seeds. Mushrooms, on the other hand, reproduce asexually through spores. The body structure of the mushroom is composed of hyphae and a fruit. The hyphae are thin filaments, strands of fungus that travel through soil or wood and decompose the matter. The fruit are part of the mushroom that can be seen above the ground. The only of the fruit is to spread is the spores. The life cycle of a mushroom is different from plants. Plants obtain nutrients from the soil and the light, while mushrooms grow by decomposing matter and absorbing all the decomposed nutrients as food. Mushrooms can be feed of plants and other decomposing matter, including animals. Morchella esquelena, it is a native of Europe and North America. It is also one of the earliest of edible mushrooms, first appearing in April and most prominent in May. This type of mushrooms are beloved gourmet, especially in France. However, they do contain small amounts of toxins, which are removed through cooking and should never be eaten without being cooked. Otherwise, can cause severe stomach pain and sickness. A recent 
phylogenetic studies made by several science here in the United States and Canada have revealed the existence of at least 50 species of Markella worldwide. It also demonstrates a high degree of continental endemism within the genus. The same study is also described 19 phylogenetic species of Markella from North America, 14 of which are new. Some of these include M. diminutiva, M. virginiana, M. prava, M. capitata, as well as the rest that are shown on the phylogeny tree. Now, let's learn some morphology. Morcala esculena vary in size and shape. However, the general average is between 10 to 15 centimeters high. The stem is stout and enlarged toward the base, and the cap is well known for a wrinkle and holy look. What makes it be distinguished from other species, especially related species that we will learn about later in this documentary? Ecology. The trophic level that this type of mushroom occupies is the composer, which means that they break down dead plants and animals. They also break down the waste poop of other organisms. Decomposer are the last stop on the food chain. They eat the things that no one else wants to eat. It will also use exoenzymes to start extracellular digestion and then absorb nutrients by storing nutrients and other essential compounds. And by the time there is enough material stored and the conditions are right, that's when they start to fruit or produce. Morcella esquelena usually live in the springtime. The habitat that this type of mushroom lives is in the forest. What makes this type of fungi interesting of living in the forest is that the, it's the easiest mushroom to identify because of the lack of the traditional cap, the gills, or pores. However, it can be confused with potion mushrooms, especially if you're not careful. A false model known scientifically as Giromitra esquelena, which lives in the same habitat, whereas Morcella esquelena. There is also another model, Burpa bohemica, or the early model, as is commonly known. This is a false model, and it looks much more like a true model than the Giromitra species. On the way to be sure if you have a model is to look at the mushroom after you cut it in half lengthwise. The cap of the true model is attached to the stem for its entire length. The false model have caps that are separate from the stem at the bottom so they look more like an actual cap sitting. Morcella esquilina it is important because it is considered as a food source that has immune and anti-tumor properties. It is also considered an antiviral and antioxidant. Morcella esquilina is beneficial to humans due to the anti-tumor and antiviral properties that contain. If Morcella esquilina were to go to extinct, it will affect humans in different ways. We will lose a food source and a medical source as well. The ecosystem will be affected as well since it will be a loss of important decompensor. As a part of my documentary, I have two questions for you guys that I will ask in a little bit. For now, I just want to thank everybody for listening and I hope everybody learned something new today.